and news from the region. Hundreds of Brazilians took to the streets in Sao Paulo and marched against far-right front-runner presidential candidate Jair Bolsonaro during a protest they called Dictatorship Never Again. Demonstrators, mostly supporters of the leftist Socialism and Liberty Party, danced and shouted, El Nao, meaning not him. In response to Bolsonaro's views on women, the LGBT community, black people, and indigenous people, Bolsonaro scored an emphatic victory in the first round of the presidential election held on Sunday, and opinion polls indicate he is on track to beat his leftist rival from the Workers' Party, Fernando Haddad, in the October 28th runoff election. This is causing a growing uneasiness among Brazilians about Bolsonaro, a former army captain who has expressed nostalgia for Brazil's military dictatorship. And in international news, rescue services are waiting for daylight to assess the full impact of Hurricane Michael, which made landfall on Wednesday afternoon as a Category 4 storm with 155 mile per hour winds. Unusually warm waters in the Gulf of Mexico drastically charged the storm from a tropical depression on Sunday to a Category 2 hurricane, but by Wednesday morning, the storm had reached borderline Category 5, the highest level. Michael made landfall near Mexico Beach, Florida at around 2 p.m. on Wednesday. It ranks among the most powerful hurricanes to hit the U.S. since Hurricane Andrew in 1992. And finally, a U.S. astronaut and a Russian cosmonaut were forced to make an emergency landing after their Russian Soyuz rocket malfunctioned en route to the International Space Station. Shortly after taking off from in Kazakhstan, astronauts reported a problem with the rocket's booster. The men were forced into a, quote, ballistic descent, with their capsule landing a few hundred miles away. They have been picked up by rescuers. The search and recovery teams have reached the Soyuz spacecraft landing site and report that the two crew members are in good condition and are out of the space capsule, U.S. space agency NASA said. Russia said it was suspending any further manned flights and an investigation into what went wrong had begun. Channel 2 Headline News, George Gonzalez. Thanks for watching Headline News. Leave a like or a comment below. And for updates on the latest news happening in Guyana, click the subscribe button.